What are Republicans like Rick Scott, J.D. Vance, and Mike Johnson doing in a New York City courtroom? Wasting time, wasting taxpayer money. Just the unbelievable, just complete waste. Are they in Washington, D.C., working to make the economy stronger or America safer or your life better? No, no, no. No. They talk about inflation and gas prices, but they're too busy cheerleading their leader to do anything about it. Everybody loves me. They should be in Washington, making the tough votes to strengthen the border. This makes zero sense. Instead, they're kissing Trump's ring in Manhattan. It was not a good look for Congress. They're not loyal to you. They're loyal to him. It can only be my personality, that's all. It's why more Americans are asking than ever before. Is this what we're paying them for? Not in Washington doing their jobs. They're at the courthouse. The American people are over it. That was an ad from The Lincoln Project. They're always doing fantastic work, bringing attention to the fact that so many of these Trump stooges, MAGA Republicans, have been putting their service to Trump over their service to their own constituents and the American people. And as a reminder of what some of these MAGA Republican field trips to Trump's criminal trial have looked like that were discussed in that ad, here is a moment we looked at already of Lauren Boebert outside of the courtroom. And I want all of the news to start asking the question, what is the crime? Because everyone in this court has not been informed of what the crime is. The defendant does not know the crime that was committed. Yeah, so we talked about that previously. She's being heckled, people shouting Beetlejuice at her, and the other Republicans just walked away from her as she was talking. A classic. But Lauren Boebert, the other MAG Republicans who went on this trip that were mentioned in this ad, all of them, what the Lincoln Project's pointing out there is, again, they're going so far in serving Trump instead of spending that time trying to implement policies to benefit the lives of their constituents. And that gets me to what I will not stop being the drum on, which is, Republicans, you're giving power to these individuals, and MAGA specifically, please hear me, even though I'm sure you're not watching. <laughs> um, you're giving power to these individuals who then use that power to do anything but make your life better. And no, no matter how many times you hear Trump say that they're not coming after him, they're coming after you, and he's just in the way, and he's going to stand there bravely and take the persecution you deserve, but he's taking because you are the one who tried to overthrow an election. Oh, wait, no, that was him. Or you tried to steal classified documents. That was him. Or you tried to falsify business records to cover up potential campaign finance law violations. Oh, no, that was him. So he's the one being held accountable for his actions. And then you're being convinced that him being held accountable is him serving you. So then he gets to talk about his victimhood instead of talking about policies that are supposed to be benefiting your lives. And then... And worse than that, as I smack my microphone, getting too excited about this point, um, then he's able to get other people, his henchmen, his bootlickers, his stooges, use the term that you'd like, to also distract you from real policy discussions. We're not talking anymore about something like the Inflation Reduction Act. Instead, we're talking about them showing up to a court to rant about how this is all so unfair and it's all a witch hunt. And then that's them doing their job in your mind? You've given them this incredible power to make laws, and instead of doing that, they're on the front steps of the courtroom talking about Trump being the biggest victim in the history of America. Please stop it. Would you please stop it? You don't have to put these people into positions of power. Now, let me use the issue I've been using a lot recently to make this point, that this personality cult around Trump, this MAGA ideology that's all about these stunts but not actual policymaking, and fear-mongering instead of policymaking. Let me use the border again as a good example of this. If you asked Americans which issue are Republicans most jacked up about, most excited about, most motivated to discuss, one of them would be the border, right? The border. Oh, they care a lot about the border. So presumably, if the world made any sense at all, which it doesn't, but if it did, then they would be trying to implement policies to address the issues they're concerned with at the southern border. But then we had that bipartisan border deal. I have recent news. I'm not just bringing it up again. There's recent news relating to it. Don't worry. And there was a bill put together, conservative senator, and now he's slipping on it. 
also because he has so much backlash. But at the time, conservative senator from Oklahoma, James Langford, worked with Democrats and Biden was supportive of this deal. Then the Border Patrol Union, who Republicans claim to respect a lot, they said this needs to get passed. This bipartisan border deal would do so much to address these issues in it, the Stop Fentanyl Act, more funding for Border Patrol, all these different things to actually address and um, improve things when it comes to the southern border. And then Trump said, oh, wait, no, I don't want Biden getting a win on the border. Keep obstructing solutions. Not the only time they've done this with Biden's immigration reform proposals, but this was the most recent time, which is why I bring it up so often. Well, I'm really happy to see senators, Democratic senators, are saying, wait, 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 we're not going to let this just fall by the wayside, which is what's happening, which is why I'm screaming about it so much. We're going to make sure the American people know that we're trying to address issues at the border. It's Republicans obstructing the solutions because Trump told them to because he doesn't want Biden to get a win on the southern border. Here is Chris Murphy, the Democratic senator, explaining why they're bringing this legislation back up and trying to once again get it passed. So why are we bringing this bill up a second time? The answer is simple. Democrats care about border security. We care about immigration reform. We are not willing to walk away from a bipartisan bill that we worked for four months to achieve that lines up with the broad priorities of the American public. Maybe it would have been easier to accept Republicans' political decision to side with Trump and move on. But Democrats believe that we have an opportunity to continue to bring this case to the American public, to try to change minds in the Republican caucus, so that we can finally come together, Republicans and Democrats, and do something about border security. This bill, if it passes, would be effective in bringing order to the southwest border. And that is the reason that Republicans killed it earlier this year. Because Donald Trump said, plain and simple, I don't want you to do anything. The question that we believe is so important, that we want to have another debate in the Senate, is this. Do you care more about the security of your country or do you care more about the political prospects of your party and your presidential candidate? I think this problem is so big. I think this solution is so important that it's worth putting that question to Republicans end of the country again. And I thank Senator Schumer for giving us the chance to have this debate this week. Again, as I've said previously in today's show, talk is cheap. When you look at the actions, yeah, it, you're right, okay? You're right that Democrats aren't screaming as loudly on this issue, in part because they're not willing for good reason to use the vile dehumanizing rhetoric to rile people up about the subject. And instead, they want to have more level-headed conversations about policy solutions to the real issues and not the blown out of proportions one ones that Republicans push. And do you know what doesn't get much news coverage? Level-headed policy discussions. And so no one's hearing that Democrats are interested in implementing solutions on this. All they're hearing is Trump saying insane stuff like the blood of America is being poisoned by migrants. But choosing to prioritize the dehumanization in service of this fear-mongering over level-headed policy discussions, proves that you want anything but improvements when it comes to this issue. And that's something that I will continue to pound the drum on, continue to not shout, but whatever I'm doing right now, uh, <laughs> intentionally, passionately assert that this is the reality and uh, the actions of these lawmakers is what needs to be observed. And so good for Democrats for saying, let's bring this back up again. And I think until election day, they bring this up for a vote as often as they possibly can to keep getting Republicans on the record for voting against what the Border Patrol Union is saying is what they need and voting against the actual solutions to the problems they fear monger so dang much about. Here is uh, Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto also speaking on this. I was at the Tucson sector. I was talking to the Border Patrol. I was talking to the customs agents. They are understaffed and overwhelmed. And my commitment to them was we will work here in Washington to bring you the resources that we need. This bipartisan legislation does just that. You don't have to be a border state to realize this is affecting so many people across this country. It is important in Nevada. It's important across the country that we give our law enforcement on the border the tools that they need. 
That's what this is about. I sit and listen to my colleagues on the floor of the Senate, and the Republicans talk about wanting border security. They talk about wanting to pass policy to address it. This is that legislation. This bipartisan legislation fixes that. They're not thinking about the safety of American families. They're not thinking about the law enforcement officers at the border that I met with. They're only thinking about one person right now, and unfortunately, that's Donald Trump. Enough is enough. It is clear who the real party of law and order is. And right now, unfortunately, it is not the Republican Party. So in service of Trump, the MAGA Republicans in Congress are shooting this down. And they're going to obstruct it again. Okay, And so to the point that the Lincoln Project video is making, that means, and MAGA, you, sh you should be the most mad about this. Okay, Because you're the one saying you wanted solutions on this the most. But maybe it was never about that. Maybe you just like the feeling of being fear monger too. Maybe you just like the feeling of hating Democrats over this. Maybe you just like the fearing, feeling of being terrified that a migrant's going to, I don't know, do something crazy. And that seems to be what you're focusing on more and watching Fox News to get you all juiced up about it instead of caring about level-headed policy discussions. And so... MAGA Republicans who are going to obstruct this at the direction of Trump are proving once again, as they're doing with showing up at the courtroom, that they're more concerned with Trump and serving him than their constituents or the American people at large. Let me know what you thought of all that in the comments, and please make sure you are subscribed to this channel.